This is my 2000 Land Cruiser with 325,000 miles, and I'm gonna tell you a quick little story about how it's broken and how to fix it. I recently purchased this Land Cruiser because I had another 2000, the exact same color, and I sold it right before I left LA and moved back to Nashville. I sold this truck, and I really, really regret it because Land Cruisers are like the, it's just, I've had 50 different vehicles, used vehicles, and the Land Cruiser is always still one of my top three vehicles probably the top one vehicle. Anyway, so I, I sold the vehicle and I regretted it. So I found another one, the exact same color, but with another extra 100,000 miles on it. And I bought it because it was local and it was pretty clean. It had the original over, owner for 20 years, have the original window sticker here, and it had some extra, it was just clean, so I bought it. And I took it off-roading for the first to test all the systems, the four-wheel drive system out. And sure enough, the four-wheel drive a track system wasn't working now if you don't know what a track is it's it uses the braking system the anti-lock braking system to work like locking differentials but only when you have a loss of traction so when you have a loss of traction it uses the brake to break the tire that is spinning now let's say you're doing a donut in a van in a empty parking lot when you if you do a left hand donut you're turning to the left turning the steering wheel to the left and you're making a left you know circle the inside tire will spin and the outside tire that has all the weight on it will not spin so the one that has the least resistance aka the one that's up in the air spinning freely will get all the power if you have an open differential meaning it's not a locking differential what a track does is it puts a brake and applies the brake on to the spinning tire that's in the air. So if the A-Track is disabled, you essentially have two open differentials, which means if you go into a ditch and you're off-roading or an obstacle and the front left is in the air and the back right is in the air and you're teeter-tottering, you're just stuck. You can't get out of that. You can't, if two wheels are in the air on the opposite sides, you're stuck. So a track fixes that. So that was the problem I had. So here's how I fixed it. The way I fixed it was I was riding home and the dash lights went out, which was an indicator that there's a, there's a short in the dash somewhere. So I smacked the dash with my hand and I noticed that the dash turned back on. So what I did was I went home and I took the dash out and sure enough, somebody had screwed the dash in crooked. I put the dash back in and you have to be careful on the way that you put the dash in because the bolts will strip. So you have to be very care careful. And it, there's just two wiring harnesses on the back of the dash. And what I recommend is putting the bolts in first on the sides and on the top. So line the dash up, make sure it fits in there good if you're reattaching it. Now some signs that you might need your dash to be reattached would be the oil pressure is reading low see that doesn't sound i read on the message boards that people were saying that they had low oil pressure and that's normal and common thing but when i, I and i had that on my dash currently so i thought that okay i've just got a sending unit that's low and i think a lot of people do have a sending unit that is just malfunctioning or that's a common error but on mine personally when i put the dash back in the correct way the oil pressure reads normal so going down the highway with 325,000 miles on my Toyota Land Cruiser, my oil pressure is actually above halfway. That is amazing to me. Most vehicles, specifically Toyota Land Cruisers, that have almost, you know, over 300,000 miles would have low, low to medium oil pressure. Mine is right in the middle and above. So if you have, try, try making sure your dash is in properly. Now I, I don't know why that worked out the way it did, but it did. So another thing that happened, my VSC, you know, the center locking differential lights on the dash turned on as soon as I turned on the key in the on position. So when you turn the key in the on position, there are lights in the dash that weren't even turning on before because the dash wasn't hooked up properly. So there's a whole bunch of lights that will actually work on the dash if the dash isn't hooked up right. And so you don't know if your dash is in properly. That's the weirdest thing ever. I, I never would have thought that 
the dash could partially work and partially not work. But that's all it was. It just wasn't pressed into the wiring harness and, the, and it wasn't screwed in well. It was a little cross-threaded. So take your time, line it up, and put it in there right and take your time. And, and you might solve a couple problems on your Land Cruiser dash, okay? So guess what? It was the most rewarding fix to fix the dash because as soon as I took it off-roading, I noticed it because... I was turning around in the driveway and my front tire hit a, um, a log, a little slippery leafy log that was half dead and it crumbled. And at three miles an hour, my front tire, the computer recognized that I had slipped and it turned on the A-Track. It turned on the, the ABS and the trash control. So it worked very, very, very fast and immediate and it was amazing. So my first testing, I drove up on our property. We have this little hill and yep, four wheel drive high it worked. Now previously when I took it out, it only worked in four wheel drive low, which was very disappointing, unfortunately, because I just, it was this perfect Land Cruiser and it was broken. But now I fixed it and the A-Track works in four wheel drive high and it is absolutely like the best vehicle possible. I love this color. I love this year model. I love that it has high miles. I love the price that these vehicles are going at. It's the most rewarding thing to feel the A-Track kicking in, going from one side to the other, and it's doing the job. It's just helping you dig yourself out of this hole and transferring the power to the other side. It's this rewarding feeling that you can feel through the brake pedal, the dash is lighting up, you can feel the tires gripping, 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 and spinning and gripping, and then the brakes are coming in and stopping that spinning wheel, and it pulls you out of the hole. And it is just so fun. It is honestly just get some good tires on your Land Cruiser. Make sure your dash is plugged in. I don't think that's a very common issue, honestly, for a lot of people. But for me personally, that's all the fix was. That's all you had to do was make sure that was plugged in. Now, quickly, I just wanted to go over and just talk about the Land Cruiser in general. This one specifically, I'm out here um, up in Kentucky, which is close to Nashville. It's only like an hour away, honestly. And I, I went on these off-road trails and that's where I'm practicing in this little ditch here. And so this truck is 23 years old, 325,000 miles. And it's just, it's just amazing. I recommend if you have $10,000 to go find a, a used Toyota Land Cruiser or LX470 that has, if you're, if you're looking for a luxurious off-road vehicle. And what I mean luxurious off-road vehicle. I mean, it, look, it's going to get 15 miles per gallon probably. And this one has a, a, an Ironman lift on it. And I ordered these wheels and I ordered these tires recently and I put those on there. And then I upgraded the headlights with LEDs, the fog lights with LEDs and all the interior lights with LEDs. And then I did the window visors. So those are the modifications. And it looks like the running boards have been removed. I think it had running boards on the Land Cruisers. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But those have been removed if it did have those. And those are basically, it has window tint. And other than that, it's got this uh, drawer system in the back that you can pull in and out. So it does have some little modifications. But just very subtle, unique, cool ones. And you can get all those. I'll, put, I'll drop those links if you guys want to order the, the visors or the LED bulbs or any of that stuff. But... The KO2 tires helped out the ride quality so, so, so much for, for, the, um, for the Land Cruiser over the Patagonia tires that it had. And I'm not sure if those Patagonias were just old. I'm, I, I don't think that those are bad tires, but the Patagonias did not have good ride quality compared to the, the KO2s. So I do want to switch up the suspension. It is a little stiff on the slow stuff and on the highway on the on the undulated uh freeways where it's choppy like that but the land cruiser is just i just recommend you go get one i just can't speak enough about it because it's it's so japanese 2000s early 2000s and not late 90s cool you know it's prime time toyota they built these to last 30 years in a third world country and it's literally only 23 years old right now and has 300,000 miles. And I would drive it to California and back across the country right now. So that was just an easy fix for the Land Cruiser. And if you have any issues with your Land Cruisers pertaining to the A-Track system 
or the oil pressure gauge or the dash lights acting weird or the VSC. I still haven't got my center locking diff. I think it's just the switch on the, the center locking differential that needs to be switched out. You can get those on Amazon as well. I think that that's all the, the diff needs for the diff lock to work. Subscribe if you'd like to stay updated with the Land Cruiser or the Mustang Mach 1 info. And we're going to take this thing on some more trips and just enjoy the truck. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. And yeah, I just, I just love the Land Cruiser. If you're like me, let me know what color yours is. I'll put my Instagram down in the comments so you guys can add me on my, my Instagram page because I put a lot of reels and stuff like that over there. And I want to see what you guys drive too. So thanks for watching. And hopefully that quick little fix was useful for you guys. So just plug in the dash. That's the, that's the best advice I can give you. If you guys are interested in the silicone tire mat um, conditioner, if you notice in the video when I'm in that hole, if you notice how the water, the muddy water just bounced right off that tire, it's because I have this really cool conditioner for the tires and I'm going to start selling that. So if you're interested in that tire conditioner, it'll be like 15 bucks a bottle and it works really good. So let me know if you like, if you buy tire conditioner currently, or if you'd like some, just let me know in the comment section. All right guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.